Good afternoon, Facebook family and friends. I have a special treat today. I have someone special with me um, on my video blog today. I want to introduce you all to my best friend, the most important lady in the world to me, my mother, Miss Alberta Hampton. Hello, Mama. Hey, hey, Facebook. How are you? So we're sitting here today, and we're going to talk about um, we're going to talk about our relationship. Um, I wanted to I wanted to talk to my mother about how she felt having a son, a black gay son, in the seventies. Because when did you realize that I was gay? Uh, I believe I realized it when you were about two years of age, and most people that came in noticed that you were very feminine. Okay. So, at two years of age, you realized I was gay. Did you have a problem with it? Because being a Jehovah's Witness, what did you think about having a gay son? Did you really, were you willing to accept it at that point? Because I think you had a problem at some point. Uh, I don't believe I had a problem. I just think that... Uh when you know you're more concerned about the individual and really gay, the, being a gay at that time was not an outward thing people didn't just you know they hadn't come out the closet at that time mm -hmm. so did you did you ever view do did you or do you ever view homosexuality as a sin was it do you consider it a sin because of your religious preference cuz you you identify as a christian right i do so what do you consider, do you think it's a sin, or what are your thoughts on... Um, well, see, you're going in deep when you say what do, how I look at homosexuality. We have to remember what the Bible said. Does, you know, people are people, and God accepts all of us, but there are certain criterials that we have to be careful with. So, you know, I, I had to love you and everybody else because God loves us regardless of what we are and who we are. So, you have a gay son, so do you, do you disapprove or do you approve? I understand what the Bible says, but how do you feel about gay individuals? Do you approve of it or do you disapprove? Are you comfortable with it? Because, you know, we've, we've, we've had these conversations over the years. I believe you've had the conversation trying to read my mind, but that's not... Some of the things that have come out of your mouth, it's not been true. Okay. I mean, when you love someone, you love them regardless of what they're doing or who they are. I've never even considered homosexuality. I've always just always considered you as being Walter, okay. my son, not yeah. a homosexual. What did you think about my relationship with her? Did you like the relationship? Did you approve of it? Was it a... How did you feel about... Because I, I know that, that was a contentious period for for us for a little while. We, well, had dis we, had dis we had some disagreements about my personal relationship with him. Well, the only disagreement we had was that you told me that Earl said that I had said something about him being a homosexual, which was not true. You, you, you never told him, is never. Adam and Eve and not Adam and Steve? Never. You never. sure? I'm positive. Okay. Okay, well... I don't know. I just sometimes felt that with my relationship, that maybe because you didn't approve of it, you sometimes kind of inserted yourself into it. And maybe in a good way, maybe maybe in your mind you felt that you were trying you know, to Walter, help. You're not the only child I have. I have Lisa that I deal with. I never give, and you know, she's always come to me making it look like I don't approve of her. But that's not true. Those are your inner feelings. Okay. That's your conscience bothering you, mm -hmm. condemning you, because I treat everybody the same way. And so you don't feel like you interfered in my relationship with, with Earl? Oh, no, definitely not. Definitely not. Okay. I mean, how, how could I interfere? Well, you had a lot of conversations with Earl, private conversations that I was, I was not privy to. You guys, you, you guys would occasionally talk on the phone, have conversations, and... We never talked about homosexuality. We well, no, I'm, I'm talking about, did you ever talk, I think the conversations that you may have had with him were about me and Earl's relationship. And, um, and If and, I had a conversation with Earl, period, it was about Earl, not the two of you all. I would, might have been quoting some scriptures out of the Bible to him, uh, you know, and you made a statement to me years ago, you know, uh, we were talking and I said to you, well, I'm a single woman uh, all I know is that I can't go out and be having sex with any and everybody. 
because it's a sin. But you know, if you got, you know, yet we have to maintain our uh, uh, fidelity. How do you feel about gay marriage, Mama? Gay marriage? How do you feel about it? Never thought about it. What's, what's, okay, so are you fine with gay with two men coming together in a relationship, get married? How do you feel about it? I'm gonna be honest with you. I've never even given it much consideration, even with what's going on in the world. Mm -hmm. Today, I've never ever thought about it, never given it any so thought. So, if I come to you tomorrow and say I'm engaged, I'm getting married to some man, are you comfortable with that? Are you going to come to the wedding? Don't you believe that I have to be comfortable with it because that's your well, life? Well, I want to I hear your, your honest opinion about it. I mean, well, I really, if, how do you feel if, about if there's it? a scripture that you would accept, um, what if I came to you tomorrow and said, Mama, I met this lady. I want to get married to her and I want to have kids. Would that make you more happier? Not really. <laughs> Are you sure? Because you've made comments like that in the past about um, I would probably be happier if I had married a woman or if I had kids. Well, you know, you've had some pretty shaky relationships with, your, with the people that you dealt with. Sometimes, uh, you know, maybe a woman would have made you happy. I don't know. You know, when you're dealing with men and sometimes they make you unhappy. But as a gay man, do you think that I would have been happy with a woman? Do you think that a woman could have made me happy? Um, was she? <laughs> I, don't, I have no idea. I think it would be kind of tough. As a, well, I have a lot of friends who have gotten married. And um, I, have, I have some friends who've gotten married who have children. That's one regret I will say. I wish, I wish, I really do. I, I really wish I had my own kids. Um, at one point, I didn't want any children. But now at 42 years of age, I really, 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 really wish I could have my own kids. I, that's something that I think about all the time because I think I could have a positive influence on my own children. Um, what do you think about a gay man raising his own kids? Um, I, I have to agree with you that at 42 years of age and you're a very wise young man that, uh, and you saw a lot of mistakes in the world with people raising children and a lot of negative things, you'd probably do a fine job of raising children. I don't think it has anything to do with being gay or being... Uh, heterosexual anything, you know, it's a maturity that's come with your, you know, you, you, I think you would do a fine job. So you would approve of gay marriage and a, a gay couple together raising children. What do you think about that? You know what? You keep asking me what I think about. I want, I want your opinion. I really. You, you have know, an opinion. You, 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 but my opinion I want I want to hear your opinion because it's it's important to me. Go ahead and spit it out and just tell me how you feel. How do you feel about two black men married together raising children? Are do you approve of that? Do you have a problem with that? Do you think that they can effectively raise two children in this world together? I do. Okay, and you won't have any comp no problems with it. What is Creflo Dollar preach? You go to World Changers Church. You know, a couple of weeks ago, Creflo Dollar. I remember once you visited the church. Mm -hmm. I like, I like his church. I don't think it's a bad and he church. he made a comment, and you were offended by the comment. He made a comment a couple of weeks ago, and he said that, uh, I think he said that, um, that uh, you know, he knows that God, is, it's God's job. You know, gotcha. God accepts all of us. Gotcha. So we cannot, you know... All he wants us to do is have a relationship with Jesus Christ, and he'll take care of the rest. Well, I believe in Jesus Christ. I believe I have a relationship with Jesus. I believe in God. I have a problem with religion. So do I. I have a problem with the church. I so do I. But you attend the church. Religious. I, 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 I. You, I okay, Mama, you've been a Jehovah's Witness. For how long were you in Jehovah's Witness? You were a Jehovah's Witness for at least 20 years. At least 20 years. And you spent the last 15 to 20 years at Creflo Dollar's World Changers Church. So That's true. So you couldn't have too big of a problem with church and religion if you're there as aggressively you are. I have a big a big problem with religion. I'm not religious. It has also become so that you can't even say you're a Christian anymore because everybody wants to claim Christianity when they don't live it. So I, I, and then the church now has become just a place where people are sitting with all of their sins and everything. They come to church, but they don't come really 
for the reason that they should be there. You ever saw any gay members of the church at Royal Chambers Oh, I've church? had friends, yeah. Good any, friends. Any gay couples? Um, no gay couples. I don't. I can't recall. But you, does, does Grateful Doll approve of the gay lifestyle? Oh, well, I, I use the term lifestyle. That's really the wrong word to use. Does he approve of, of gays? Uh, he does. He's had a, he's had a, you know, it, 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 it's not what we approve of. It's what God, you're still humans well, like me. I could be out there doing something. Well, hold like, that thought. We're going to go to another video because I'm going to cancel in this one video right now because we're right at 10 minutes. And then we're going to come back. So, you guys, I'm here today with my mother, Miss Alberta Hampton. Uh, Mama, how old are you? Uh, 30. 30. My mother's 30 years of age, and I'm 28, so you got to Something ain't right here. Mama's 30. I'm 28. But anyway, we'll be back. Guys, stay with us. We'll be back. We've got a lot more stuff we want to discuss.